Hey guys, Lee Williams here with a brand new video for you. Uh, today's video is going to be be the third and final uh, part of my WW how to build a WWE DVD collection. Uh, as I promised, I'm going to talk about the organisation of the actual collection. Now uh, let's start with start with the documentaries and the match comps. Now it doesn't really matter what order you put them in. Uh, you can put them in like alphabetical order or in order of when the DVDs were actually released. Um, I tend to put them in a certain order just because I've got OCD and I can't help, can't help myself. But as you can see, you've got 50 years of WWE and Vince McMahon simply because he owns the company. You've got Eddie Guerrero next to Rey Mysterio because they're best friends. Paul Heyman and Sam Punk because there's those two are absolute magic together. We got Sam Punk and Stone Cold next to each other because I think they're very similar. Then we got The Rock and Stone Cold because they had they've had one awesome uh, rivalry. Then we got Rock and Cena because they've had two matches at WrestleMania. Once a lifetime, my ass. <laughs> we got. Uh, Cena and Edge because they had uh, one of my favourite rivalries in 2006. Then we got Hogan and uh, the Macho Man, uh, the Mega Powers. Then we got uh, Bret Hart and uh, Shawn Michaels, the infamous uh, screw job. Then we got DX and Shawn Michaels because Shawn Michaels uh, started DX with Triple H. Then, I don't know why I put that in there, but, eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we got ECW section here. And uh, we got uh, WCW War Games. And WC Rise and Fall of WCW. I don't know why I put them there, I just did. Then we got all of Evolution. <laughs> Thought it'd be rather cool to put them all together. Because let's face it, it was one cool faction. Then we got... Brothers of Destruction right here. Then on top, got my uh, Attitude Era Collection DVDs. And oh, up here really, it's not really organised apart from this section. It's all just dumped in one place really. So yeah, as as I said, it doesn't really matter what order you put it in. As long as it fits in an order that you're comfortable in, then that's fine. If you're not comfortable in it, then you put it in a different order that you like, like I have. Or I can put it in orders like they were actually released, it doesn't really matter. Just enjoy yourself. Right, now we're on to the pay-per-views. Now with the pay-per-views, every pay-per-view has a month. For example, uh, Royal Rumble, that's in January. And depending on what year you're looking for, uh, Armageddon is the, um, the last pay-per-view of the year. So that'll be in uh, December. And for example, we've got uh, SummerSlam 2000, that was in August. And we've got WrestleMania 17, uh, that was in April 1st. I believe that was in June, then we've got March, uh, June 2002, I think that was June as well, August. And uh, yeah. Uh, the best section to describe how ordered my pay-per-views are is in the 06 section. So we've got January, February, March, or April time. Then we got April, May, June, June, July, August, uh, September, October, November, December, December. So that was really... Uh, the basic way of learning which order the pay-per-view is actually going. Uh, you can put it, again, sorry to repeat myself, but you can put it in alphabetical order if you wanted. Uh, when I first started collecting the pay-per-views, I had all my WrestleManias all the way up here, then the rest of the pay-per-views. And uh, when I did it, I was comfortable with it at first. 
but when I looked at other people's uh, videos of their uh, collections it kind of got to me and I changed it to what it is now so yeah if you got any troubles just give me a shout on twitter ldwilliams at 66 sorry at ldwilliams666 uh, give me a question in the comment section if you want um, I can't think of anything else to help you guys with that's the best stuff I can think of and uh, yeah if you, if you like this video please like, subscribe and I'll see you all later.